Hey, it's Corey from Laboratory again, and today we're going to do a brief overview of an OctoPrint and why it's going to make your 3D printing life so much easier. So what is OctoPrint? OctoPrint is basically a mini PC that lets you have your normal printer untethered from your main PC, yet still lets you remotely access it when you're out and about or at home. For this overview, we're using a Raspberry Pi 3B. Links will be into the description if you guys are after one. So let's take a look at OctoPrint. So we're writing octopi.local into our browser. Now, first thing we need to do is to log in. So let's just put in my username and my password to log in. And here we are. So we can see my printer is currently operational because it's plugged in and turned on. Uh, we've also got my print files that are pre-uploaded onto here. So I've got a fair few currently. So all I've done is in my Lulzbot Cura, just sliced it, saved the G-code, and clicked upload and basically uploaded the G-code. So let's just print one of these out so we can just see what it looks like. So I've just clicked print, and you can see up here, we've got the file, it's a prox print time, how much it's gonna use, and then we've got you know the ETAs and how much it's done. Now we can see temperature curves are starting to turn on. We do have manual controls here, so if you wanted to heat up the print bed or hot end before printing, you could. Now let's click on control, and we'll be able to see I've got a camera set up. You don't need to have a camera set up, but it does work quite well with OctoPrint. Um, I've got manual controls, which are now disabled because we're currently printing. Uh, let's go across to the G-Code Viewer. So in G-Code Viewer, we can see what the layers are while printing, and what there is to print. So while the print head's going around, you can see it drawing the layers in, which is quite handy. Not a lot of slicing software do this. Uh, going across the terminal, we can see the G-code, so we can see it slowly starting to heat up. And finally, we've got a time-lapse function. So the time-lapse is really handy. In having a webcam, I no longer need to set up a camera to record my prints. It just does it automatically. And all you need to do is click on download, download to your PC, and you can watch it when you don't need any more. You can delete it off the OctoPrint. So that's just a brief overview of what OctoPrint is. It does make 3D printing a lot easier, it makes it a lot more reliable too, in the fact you don't need to be home to see what's happening with your prints. So out of all the things I bought for my 3D printer, this little guy is by far the best and the most important one that I bought. It has made 3D printing so much easier. It's not overly expensive, and once you get it working, it is amazing. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.